Okay, in our last uh, video, we saw that uh, we had these two data sets here, and uh, in many ways they're the same, but in important ways they're also different. And um, we characterized that difference as a texture. And now uh, we'd like to come up with some kind of measure of that difference, or some kind of measure of texture. So here we're going to define something called a variogram. And uh, here's the definition of uh, what we mean by a variogram. So what is that? I don't know. I think that's a gamma. Uh, ga let's, I'm going to read it as gamma. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Uh, gamma of delta x comma delta y equals 1 half e. That's the expected value operator that we saw before which we can think of as uh, the average um, of z of x plus delta x comma y plus delta y and then minus z of x comma y and then that whole thing squared. So what does that mean? Well z, well remember we said before that um, we said that we have an x-axis and a y-axis and a z-axis. The z-axis is, is shown uh, with the color. But anyway, there is a z-axis, and the z-axis stands for the height. So that's the z that we're referring to in the formula. And of course, you can certainly agree that uh, z is a function of x and y. That is, the height is dependent on which point in the um, contour plot that you're talking about, or which data point, data, which point in the data set you're talking about. So that z is certainly a function of x and y. <coughs> so it make it's uh, it makes sense or it does not it doesn't not make sense to write z of x y because z is a function of x and y okay so then what is this um, we're talking about gamma of delta x and delta y so we we give a delta x and a delta y specify a delta x and a delta y and then what do we get we get um, z of x plus delta x and y plus delta y minus z of x comma y. So let's suppose, let's make this a little simpler. Let's suppose that delta x equals 2 and delta y equals 2. Just so, um, so what does this mean? z of x plus 2 and y plus 2 minus z of x minus uh, x comma y. So basically, this is the difference in the height, right, because it's z and z, at two different places. One is uh, here. Where's my pointer? One is here. And, uh, well, there. I don't know. Uh, I don't seem to have a pointer here. But uh, one is here. No. I'll do that. Oh, I can do it that way, maybe. Okay. So uh, the location of uh, one uh, point is there, and the location of another point is here. And then we're looking at the height at the first point, z of that, minus the height at the second point. So we're just talking about the difference of, of height at two different points, the difference in height at two different points. Um, now, uh, and so we specify delta x and delta y. So let's put in delta x and delta y equal 2, like I said. And then what we do is, since we have the expectation operator there, we're saying basically do this at every point x, y. I think that we said that there were 15,000 points um, in, this, in this data set. So do it at every one of those points. And... Um, measure the difference in heights like this. 
and then take the average difference in height. Or actually, no, square it, and then take the average, and then divide by 2. So basically what we're doing is this is getting some kind of, uh, getting a handle on the overall or the average uh, difference in heights between points that are um, delta x and delta y separated from each other. Okay? So if we have two different maps and one, the height's changing a lot, and the other, the height is not changing a lot, then the, uh, de uh, sorry, the gel uh, gamma for the one uh, that's changing a lot will be higher than the one that's not changing a lot. Okay? And this is the definition. This is the gamma function is called the v a variogram. So let's see what they say about this. The mathematical definition of the variogram is that where z of x, y is the value of the variable of interest at location x, comma, y. So z of x, y in our case is height. That's the variable of interest. And e is the statistical expectation operator. Note that the variogram gamma, I think it's gamma, is a function of the separation between points uh, delta x, delta y, and not a function of the specific location. So we, we do this over all points, x, comma, y, but we specify a specific um, kind of distance, delta x and delta y. This mathematical function is a useful abstraction, but is not easy to apply to observed values. Consider a set of n observed data x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2, xn, yn, zn. So in our case, we have, um, uh, I think, 15,000 of these we would have, where x sub i, y sub i is the location of observation i, and z sub i is the associated observed value, in our case, the height. Then there are n times n minus 1 over 2 unique pairs of observations. Okay, well, that's, we won't go into that. We won't think about that too hard. But um, uh, that's just, uh, anyway. For each of these pairs, we can calculate the associated separation vector. So what they're saying, basically, is if you wanted to do this in, in the map that we saw ab uh, above, we'd have to consider 15,000, basically, times whatever, nearly 15,000 again, divided by two unique pairs of observations. So it, they mean it's a lot of work to, do, to make this calculation. For each of these pairs, we can calculate the associated separation vector, and so on. When we want to infer the variogram for a particular separation vector, delta x, delta y, we will use all of the data pairs whose separation vector is approximately equal to this separation of interest. So basically, we'd have to do a lot of calculations. Now the, but one important thing to remember or to take note of is that this is uh, gamma is a function of the specified separation delta x and delta y. We're going to change delta x and delta y and see what happens to gamma.